It's showtime, episode 137, Wayne in with Travis Hartman. I am B-Money, the producer. That over there is the talent. We can Trav back from a semi-hiatus we are. I know I've been a little ill here and there. Got a lot of stuff going on in the personal world, but We can Trav, we had to jump in for episode 137 because we have to talk about fights coming up this weekend. Just a few days from when you're seeing this, folks, on Friday here in Orlando, we have Amanda Serrano taking on Danilo Ramos. We can Trav, tell the public, why is this an important fight on friday because amanda serrano is the goat she's the goat let's just start calling can we start calling her the quote no she deserves better um but amanda serrano has chose to fight 12 three minute rounds for this title fight why that's a big deal you ask is because women only go two minute rounds and they only go 10 rounds at two minutes amanda serrano said Heck with all that crap. I want to be like the men. I want to be a world championship level fight. Not a women's world. She's like, I want a world championship fight. So she chose to do 12 three-minute rounds. Be money. I will say that's a big difference. It is, but I'll say this: it's not that she wanted to be like the men we can trap. She wanted to be treated like the men, true pugilist fashion, true boxing fashion, have the same minutes, have the same amount of rounds. That's what we call level playing field. Let's get that pace structure going too, possibly down the road as women really amp up their rounds and their minutes here in the ring. We can trav. We we want to make sure we're mentioning that this is brought to us by uh, Most Value Promotions as well as Box Lab Promotions. And it looks like also Celsius is on board here. If I got that right, that's the that drink of choice for so many. Celsius, live fit. Nice. They're not sponsoring this. So we can trav. Amanda Serrano is 45, 2, and 1. OK, uh, she's fought since um, her battle with Katie Taylor, uh, obviously, I think once or twice since then. I think ultimately we want to see that again, uh, but we can Trav. Does Danilo Ramos here have a chance to, uh, you know, kind of upset what what uh, what us boxing enthusiasts are looking forward to maybe down the road with Serrano and Katie Taylor? Well, let, I mean, there's always that chance for an upset. Yes, for sure. And the only reason I say that too is because I'm looking at Danilo Ramos and I've never seen her. I haven't. I'm checking her record out. I'm checking out who she's fought. Um, her only two losses were to an 11 and 0 and like a 12 and 0 girl. One of them was a split decision. So she clearly can fight. And let's not forget that while I do love Amanda Serrano, she's also been pro since 2009. She's got 40 something pro fights under her belt. Now let's see 40, 48 bouts under yep. her belt. She's 35. By no means is that old anymore. I'm not saying that by any means, but you know, we got, you, you could be getting to be on the other side of your career. I'm not saying she is, but you never know. Father time comes when it wants to come and it'll show up in the ring when it wants to show up in the ring. And let me double check here and see how Ramos is. Ramos. It's definitely an adjustment weekend, Trav, as you were looking up those details. I mean, you're going from two minutes to three minutes per rounds, and we're jumping it up to 12 rounds if that fight goes the distance, which which usually that's what you kind of see in title fights uh, on the ladies' side of things. You're not going to see a finish more often than not. Uh, Who knows? This time around, you possibly could, especially since we're going up in the rounds. Uh, But that this could definitely play a factor just given the longevity uh, of Amanda Serrano's career. Uh, don't, we obviously here, uh, we, Wayne and Travis Hartman aren't, aren't discrediting that or, or being ageists by any means <laughs> um, because you and I are both a, in the ripe 40-year-old plus category as well. Don't, uh, don't give me 40 plus. I just turned 40. If it's beyond your birthday by a day, it's 40 plus. It's 40 plus. You are oh. now, hey, you're living, you're living in the minivan oh, life now, so my friend. <laughs> oh, you're well, well into the 40s. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that and go right back to the boxing. Got it. Uh, I take the age back because Danella is 38 years old. Okay, so, so Amanda Serrano is the younger bird here. Oh. Um not that age is gonna play a major factor, like I said. Who who knows if it will or it won't, but um, I think Amanda Serrano is she's out there to prove something and she's continuing to prove it. She's continuing to fight for women's pay, women's rights, women's equality, all of that. And I I, I kind of respect it, man, because 
She doesn't have to fight three minute rounds. Her pay doesn't change, B Money, whether she fights three or two minutes. Okay. She's just looking to have that respect and, and, and to, to look at herself as a professional boxer, not a women's professional boxer. She's a professional boxer. And I think that's that's cool and it's fair. And she is paving the way for higher salaries for women. I don't know if it's trickled down yet. But I know that she's making a boatload, and that is thanks to Jake Paul. He's been paying her a minimum five hundred thousand dollars a fight, so it makes me think that this fight shouldn't be any different. That her minimum is probably going to be around that. And um, Box Lab is helping put this on again over at Crib Royale. Um, those guys at Box Lab have been delivering. They've been bringing big time names here. Uh, I'm sure that Jake Paul will be in the house as he just announced his next fight in December. Um, so I think that. Amanda Serrano's paving the way. I am glad we're going to be there ringside for this B-Money because I do think it's very historic. This is her first ever 12-round title fight at three minutes. We're going to be witnessing history, B-Money, in the women's division right here in Central Florida, Orlando. Wang Emma Travis Harmon is going to be there. Make that show on Friday, October 27th at the Carib Royale. You definitely can catch us live on DAZN. That's D A Z N dot com. Figure it out from there how you're going to watch this thing weekend, Trav. So we're pretty excited. I mean, the card itself looks pretty solid as well. Uh, some some familiar names on there, but MVP puts together you know, very good products. I mean, this is Most Valuable Prospects 3. That's going to be the name of the show. Uh, the prior two, I think, was in May. There was one in the summertime as well that they put on. All so far at the Carib Royale in Orlando, Florida, which, as we have mentioned many times on this program, that Orlando is becoming that, that hub spot here in the southeast for boxing talent and boxing shows. It's really the hot spot. So we are looking forward to this show just in a couple of days amanda serrano taking on danila ramos we shall see uh, we can trap let's sidebar on this a little bit with serrano she is doing it the right way there's a lot of other uh, uh bigger women's name not bigger but other big women's names in the boxing field that it's thrown out there we talked clarissa shields uh, i mentioned kaylee taylor you know there's others um uh, that, uh my mind's kind of losing track but i could see like four or five others in my oh, yeah. head savannah marshall there we um, go the girl that the girl michaela mayer the girl that also yes. beat michaela mayer um I, she just got suspended uh, bomb, for bomb garner so bomb garner yeah bomb. i mean there's many other to me serrano just kind of under the radar has been doing it right rather than complaining about not being treated as equals she has pushed herself into being an equal when it comes to rounds and minutes and, and getting that pay, getting a reasonable pay with uh, uh, via MVP, you know, instead of just crying about it in interviews and proclaiming themselves as the greatest ever and, you know, quote status and all this stuff or trying to make it on only fans and other things. Amanda Serrano, I think, has done it the right way. And look where she is, Weekend Trap. Who can argue this? No one can argue with this, that she is making what you had mentioned, 500000 plus, you know, depending on sponsorship and endorsements for this fight. She is fighting the three minutes at 12 rounds rather than someone like Michaela Mayer complaining, why would I fight that if I'm not getting paid the same? Because that was her take about a year or so ago. Check it out on ESPN.com. You could find that. So instead of complain, which we can trap, men or women, doesn't matter. If you're a man and you're complaining about it, get over yourself. In any any sort of industry or any sort of sports world, stop complaining and just bring it. Amanda Serrano's bringing it. Other ladies, pay attention. That's how you do it. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're, you're not completely wrong there where I, I do support the fact that Amanda Serrano is one of those ladies that just – her, her, her blinders are on. She's looking forward. She's looking to beat whoever's in front of her. And she's looking to make uh, make a name for herself. And in that process, she is carving a path for other women without, like you said, complaining and crying and, and, and moaning. And, you know, I get it. For stuff to get done, sometimes maybe you have to, you have to go outside the box a little bit. But also, look what Amanda Serrano is doing. She hasn't had to do any of that. She has put her nose down. She has fought her butt off. She keeps winning. She keeps knocking girls out as well. She actually has a high knockout ratio for a woman fighter as well. And that's, let's be honest, even on the male side, that's what sells. Knockouts sell. 
And it just does. People tune in because they want to see people get knocked out. That's why Mike Tyson was so popular is people, they love to see people get knocked out. Um, so, and Amanda Serrano does that generally. And if she doesn't, she goes for it, which you made a good point earlier. The fact that we haven't had a Katie Taylor rematch in Amanda Serrano is mind boggling to me because that fight was full of ups and downs. It was full of a girl getting hurt, getting knocked out, getting back up, whatever. It was It was full. I don't know if there was actually knockdown, but I know Katie Taylor was seriously hurt in that fight. Uh, but it was exciting. And I can't believe that we haven't seen a rematch. I think there's, this, there's been injuries, you know, here or there that I think has delayed that. And then just but trying they to both get have the fought. Calendar. They both have fought, though. Yeah, but you know how it works. I mean, if somebody has something else on the calendar and then it's it's hard to adjust it. And, and ultimately, when it's something as meaningful as their rematch would be, you want to do it at the right time. And you want to do it, especially when you could strike when the iron's hot, when, from the marketing standpoint, making sure that the calendar overall in the boxing world kind of clears its way for that. So that could be a centerpiece rather than an afterthought. Um, yeah. So I, I truly believe in 2024, we're going to see that. Um, it, it just makes sense. Uh, I think and it makes money sense for everybody involved yeah. on that one. You know, it's not going to be one of these. And I just jotted the note down because I mentioned some of these other ladies names. It's not going to be like the Baney Bridges versus Avril Matthew only yeah, fans yeah. championship that yeah. that's going to be. I mean, that's silly. I mean, those aren't even the same weight classes and they're going to somehow meet. Uh, it's just. Ah. What are we watching? I want to watch. <laughs> I want to watch competition. I want to watch fighters. I want to watch boxers and talent. And I, we want to see Serrano in the ring. We want to see Katie Taylor eventually fighting again against her probably next year. That's what I at least hear. Uh, yeah. We can trav. So once again, October 27th, this is going to be from the Carib Royale here in Orlando, Florida. It's brought to you by most valuable promotions and box lab promotions and also Celsius. I didn't get the, uh, the the slogan on that, right? But that's a Friday. If you don't have your tickets, check it out on DAZN, DAZN.com, D-A-Z-N.com. Figure out how to watch it from there. Uh, and there's other uh, other good matchups on that card, too. That's going to be the card. Yes. MV, MVP 3. MVP 3. Most Value Prospects 3. Amanda Serrano is defending her IBF, WBA, and WBO World Featherweight title. Even though she lost to Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano went up in weight and dared to be great. So when she came back down to her weight class, she still retains her belts. So that's why she actually still is a world champion. But also, you made a good point. The undercard, we got two fighters that I'm anxiously willing to watch again. And one of them is Antonio Vargas, 16-1. and Love this guy. This guy is a big, big believer in our Lord and Savior, and I love that about him. But on top of that, not only because of that do I love him, but I love him a little more because of that. He's a very talented boxer. He is looking to get back up there in the upper echelon of fighters. Um, this guy's very good. He's 16 and one. He's only got one loss. He's fighting a Hernan Marquez, who is a very rugged and tough fighter. So it's going to be a good fight. It's a 10 rounder um, in the Bantamweight belt. division, I believe. I think it's for a belt too, isn't it? There, there's a belt on the line. I believe it's for a belt and that belt is for it's so it's not a world title belt, but right. it's a world world ranking for the world. I think it's a top 10, top 15, something like that, which is very huge. But there's another guy that's flying under the radar because he's only five and oh, he's a welterweight. It's Damien Lescali. I'm not positive on his last name, so don't shoot me for that. But we watched this guy be money in, in his last fight here in Orlando and he fought a Cuban. Um, this guy can fight B money. He is a welterweight. And he's only five and zero, oh, but this kid can straight fight. He's fighting a ten rounder as well, and he's five and zero oh. in his sixth pro fight. He's up to ten rounds. So I think those are two guys that if you come, keep an eye on. I'm not taking away from anybody else on the card for the most part. I don't know the rest on the card. This will be the first time I've seen most of the others. Although the woman, uh, Crystal Rosado Ortiz, she made her pro debut and I was there for that. She's also Amanda Serrano girl. Uh, I did watch her fight there. I don't know much about her other girl. She's it's only one and oh. Got a pop. Got a pop. Got a pop. Got a pop is probably going to get popped. So. Well well, here's the deal, Weekend Trav. This Friday, at Oct October 7th, you and I will be in attendance. Weekend Trav, B Money, the producer. We're going to be there. If you see us over there, you know, drinking a few Celsius Live Fits there, and I don't remember which row we're in. What are we in? Third row, fourth row? I don't know. Second row. Second row. There we go. Uh, there's no table, so we're second Big row. Time. 
if you see us out there, you say hey to us. You throw you throw tomatoes at us or whatever too, or throw Celsius live fits at us, please, because we are looking to <laughs> re- replace other other sort of drink beverages of choice that we've had on this program. We are looking for sponsors. Well, I mean, or or at least just a free Celsius live fit. That would be great. Listen, we're we're pretty much big time now, so we we wouldn't mind anybody that wants to throw some free merch at us and let us rock it. If it's good, we'll rock I'm it for sure. Really shameless, and I'll I'll pretty much you know do whatever you you play the organ, and I'm gonna dance. So uh, there we go. Weekend Trav. That is this Friday, October twenty seventh. Uh, reach out to uh, actually I'll I'll post a link. I don't know if it's sold out yet or not. It probably is, or it's close to it. But I'll put a link on on the description That's below. That's a good point. You know, That's check- a good point. I talked to the promoters, and so we've been to, to we've been to shows out at Box Lab in that ballroom. And the ballroom is it's decent size, right? But it's not decent size enough for a big time fighter like Amanda Serrano. And I believe he said they were setting it up to hold thirty two hundred people for a sellout. Thirty two hundred be money in that ballroom. That place is gonna be rocking. So I don't know if it's sold out or not either. But tickets are on Ticketmaster. I know that the ringside and all the VIP stuff sold out like within like minutes of them announcing it. It was all pretty filled up. So I bet there's not a lot of tickets left, but I bet there's tickets left. So go get them. Come out and see us. Come say hi to us. We're going to be there. So come say hi to me and be money. We'll also be there with Lewis and Frankie over there at Hagen O'Reilly's. Um, uh, Daniel's Cheesesteak. They got a bunch of places. Wine Regions. Go buy some alcohol from those guys. So yeah, there are tickets still available um and so i'll put the link below to ticket master that's where you can get them or if you can't make the attendance on a friday go ahead and log in to dazone dazn.com dazon, uh and then you can check out that fight weekend travel let's go ahead and shift a little bit and we got to talk about it because i believe it's the day or two after that i think probably the next day um yeah. and that's finally this uh i don't know remember what they're building this up as like baddest man on the planet or something like yeah. that yeah but that is uh one tyson fury taking on francis and ganu so we have uh heavyweight boxing champ taking on former heavyweight ufc uh champ and um you know anything can happen but it is a boxing match so as we've discussed on this show here and there obviously the uh the the, the favorite is going to be heavily uh tyson fury i have not checked out any sort of uh odds makers or anything like that on this fight at all so shame on me uh, but we can travel give us the little rundown here once you have those details we got tyson fury francis and ganu um and francis ganu he's got some giant lunchbox size hands this guy uh what could happen if he actually is able to lay one on tyson fury you know what they say about guys with big hands uh big gloves they have big gloves <laughs> yeah um so did you also know that tyson fury is, is is signed to fight Alexander usik in december yeah so that that tells oh, me bad. a little bit of the respect factor my, my, my bad my bad i didn't mean to overlook and got it yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah listen and i say that because here's the deal i'm supposed to be the fight is October 28th, so you're right. It's the day after Amanda Serrano. Amanda Serrano is on Friday, this Friday, and then the very next night on Saturday is uh, Tyson Fury, and it's in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Um, and it is for the WBC title. No, the WBC title will not be at stake, obviously. No. Good nothing's decision. At stake. Nothing's at stake. Good decision. <laughs> Other than a record, nothing's at stake. I know that what I'm going to say is going to come across as disrespectful, but I'm trying to make it sound as expert opinion as I possibly can because I am the boxing guy, right? So I'm supposed to give my boxing expertise. My boxing expertise is in Ganu stands a one in a million chance. Okay. okay so here, so here is what Vegas says to your one in a million. Uh, and, and it's not a lot different, but I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Okay. Okay. Tyson Fury, at least on uh, uh, bet.us uh, or uh, bet.us, I should say, betus.com, which is where I kind of tend to look at some things. Uh, Tyson Fury minus 1500, Francis Ngannou plus 800. Okay. We've seen, <laughs> but we've seen worse. Let's be fair. What have we've we seen worse. at a big fight? I don't think I've seen no. worse for a big fight, a no. pay per view fight. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah, never yeah. seen that. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Um, Listen. <laughs> I, I just, I want to tell people like you, you're tuning into Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is a selling machine. Tyson Fury is also a very unstable person. He's not very stable. So 
He attracts people because here's the deal. The only how in Ganu stands a chance is if Tyson Fury has some sort of mental breakdown and just quits and freaks out, which don't you exactly, And that's where the one in 1500 probably comes in there. Not one in 1500, but oh, the 1500 that. odds. <laughs> yeah. That's where that comes in is because Tyson Fury is self-admittedly a little mentally unstable. He is. I've been, you watch his Netflix series and you know, um, speaking of which Anthony Joshua has been tuning in to the Netflix series of Tyson Fury. Kind of funny. Uh, but I had to throw that out there. So boxing fans, if you're watching Tyson Fury versus Nganu, and this is my opinion to you, if you're watching that, you're going to watch that for pure entertainment value. You're not going to see high-level boxing. As much as Nganu is a beast in the UFC, once you step between that those ropes in that squared circle, you only have one discipline now. You can't you you you, you all of your other weapons that you had in the UFC, they're taken away. You now have one you, weapon. So far, there hasn't been a good um, um, sampling size of crossover appeal uh, when it comes to MMA going into straight boxing. Now, there's a reason why box boxers aren't going to go into MMA. I mean, duh, you're taking you from one discipline to multiple. Of course not. I mean, you, they're, they're, that would look even sillier than we, what we've seen on, on the flip side. Now, that's not to say, and this isn't us being fanboys and you know people criticizing you on the interview. It's not to say like, uh, Mike Perry, whose initial discipline, though he will say, and, and and I've seen it, you know, he's he's always been boxing trained, but he was a mixed martial artist. I get that. And, he, you know, he has, I don't know what he told us after the interview. I think he's like brown belt with certain stripes and stuff on the jujitsu side. It might be better than that. Um, <clears throat> but it's not to say that you won't have something like that. But also, this is a this is a MMA guy going against one of the best, if not the best heavyweight in the world. Okay. This is going to be silly. If you're going to pay for this folks, you might as well give yourself something to do on Saturday, about a half hour later after the pomp and circumstance and that half a round's over, because you're going to have nothing to do the rest of the afternoon. Go, go to a theme park, make plans to see your family and make dinner plans because this is going to be over quickly. Quick. So, so be money. I'm only going to bring this up briefly and we are not going to expand on this. Okay. If you paid for the Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis and KSI versus Tommy Fury fight, then you better pay for this one because this one Tyson Fury versus Nganu will be more entertaining. Okay. And that's, that is my 100% stamp of approval. You will be more entertained with Tyson Fury versus Nganu than you were with that crap fest. And we don't have to give it any more props, any more whatever. Not props, freaking not props at all. But if you spent your money and your hard-earned money on that, then I promise you, you will be at least, at least at the bare minimum, entertained by Tyson Fury and Ganu. That other crap fest was zero boxing ability for sure, but zero entertainment value. Zero. Um, what's the old saying we can trap if you bought that? Um, and I don't know how much that crap fest was was going for. I mean, I think Dylan, 50 some of the bucks, 50 Dylan Dennis and Logan Paul. Does that even like does anyone even know who Dylan Dennis is other than his random rants and stuff online? I, 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 Not anyways. anymore. Well, the point being is that if you're paying 50 bucks for that, if you have that much money to spend, do I have a deal for you? I have some beachfront property for sale on the cheap in Nebraska for you. Okay. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and reach out to the show. Wayne and Travis Hartman. You can just send us a direct message. You can do, you can find us on TikTok. TikTok. Is it the TikTok? Yeah. Tick yeah. The we're on the TikTok. It's we're the on the TikTok. The tick or the talk. It's we're on that now. Go ahead and message us because if you're willing to spend that much money on that hot piling, steaming bag of garbage of monkey feces, monkey turds, that's what it was. You light it on fire. That's what you watch for two hours was that for 50 bucks. I got something else I could sell you for 50 bucks. Okay. I got a perfect scheme. I have volcano insurance to sell all central Floridians. That's good. That's good. How about if your you bought yeah. that? Please me and B money. Yeah. We're going to start a new venture. Whoever bought that mess of a YouTube, whatever it was. 
Yeah. I have some volcano insurance. For I you. got, I got snow spray too, you know, uh, for floor, for Floridians. When, when it snows, you just spray it on there and it melts really quick. I got That's it. Beautiful. Gotcha. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I got gotcha. you. So, but the real, gosh, I can't even call this one a real one, but at least you have a real champ and you got Tyson Fury fighting. I mean, that alone will be entertaining. Do we know how much this is? Like how much is this thing? I'm not sure. I, I know that in the UK, it's not very much actually. I'm pretty sure in the UK it's, it's fairly reasonable. I believe it was like under 30 bucks in the UK. Oh, it's, like a, it's like one of your DoorDash orders. Is that what it is? There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Listen, I, you're going to get two real fighters at least. You're going to get Tyson Fury and Ngannou. I believe that Ngannou is going to go out there and give it his best, unlike Dylan Dennis, who is a coward. I don't know him other than what I saw because I bought that. Dylan Dennis is a oh coward. Dude. Please, please fight Mike Perry and bare knuckle boxing, please. Cause I will be front and center. Mike, I'll pay whatever to go watch you crush Dylan Dennis. That is the only fight I will ever watch of Dylan Dennis again is if Mike Perry crushes Dylan Dennis. I will, Gosh. Mike, I will volunteer all my services. I will volunteer whatever it is. Please wipe Dylan Dennis off the map. Please. Oh, he, well, he'll never fight anyone in, in in real terms anyway, so that doesn't even matter to talk Nobody about. Nobody will it. give him a chance again because he's an dude, idiot. Dude, I'm looking right now, okay? And as of October 10th, you want to know how much this was in the U.S.? How much? Well, I'm clicking the link. and Oh, my gosh. So this is as of October 10th. I don't know if it's the same. $79.99. That's for the Nganu? Mm-hmm. ESPN Plus pay-per-view. Well, the YouTubers were like 59 bucks. So I'm telling oh my you, gosh. I'm telling you that you should, if you want to spend 70 bucks, I would spend it on Tyson Fury over Tommy Fury. So know the, di- know the differentiation there. Tyson Fury is legit. Tommy Fury is a YouTube killer. <laughs> Not even, but. Dude, I'm just trying to confirm that price for our listeners. Um, that sounds so high, on. but it actually yeah, well, it sounds I'm, about normal. But inflation, we have we have Biden up economics going on right now, so that I don't want to click normal. that link because I have ESPN Plus and I don't want them to bill me like for this crap. <laughs> Hold on, wow! If that's real, then that's incredible, and that's even reported on BoxingNews24.com. It's reported on SportsIllustrated.com. That's as of October 10th. Um, I think with uh, that being said. I'm- uh, I'd like to get on the drink of my single bear eagle rare. All right, there we go. Hold before, on. So. Yep. Eagle rare. Where'd you get that? Talking about people wasting money. Where, where'd from you my, get that from? I got that one for my uh, 40th birthday. Ah, our, there we go. From our good friend Dietrich, who is also yep. our stat guy and who also will be at the Serrano fight too. There you go. What's up, Dietrich? So anyway, so that is folks at home. Don't Don't spend $80 on that. Please don't. I mean, this is me urging you. Just as just as your friend, as your friend <laughs> here here in Orlando, Florida, uh, the producer of this podcast, the number one beards bourbon and podcast. Uh, I, it's been a while since I rattled all the things off, but we are number one in that demographic, specifically from Orlando and Loria Park and Boxing Gym and the podcast room and all these sort of metrics. We're we're number <laughs> one in that metrics. Uh, don't 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 buy this seventy nine ninety nine plus tax. Don't do it. You know, take your family out to dinner. Um, save the money, go, uh, I don't know, pay something off. You know, don't, don't buy this. Don't buy this. This is silly. Do, do what, do what most people are to go. This is not an app. I'm not an advocate of this, but do what other people are going to do. Go pirate it. You can do a pirate link of it. So don't buy this. B money is a financial advisor of 19 years. Am I right? 19 years. Over 19 years. And I'm trying to save the listeners $80 plus tax on this Mm -hmm. drivel. Do not purchase it sorry tyson fury you have plenty of money but i'm happy that francis Ngannou has a 10 million plus payday coming by way of a probably knockout in the first or second round oh yeah put, i'm gonna put I'm my gonna, stamp on that i i i i literally i told one of my good friends who is a ufc homer he thinks ufc is the greatest in the world to be to each their own i don't care mm-hmm. whatever it's a good mm-hmm. whatever you like ufc you like ufc but I'm not even giving my prediction on this fight because it it's not worthy of Weekend Trap's predictions ability. This fight is not even worthy of a prediction, B-Money. I'm not giving a prediction. There's my, no round. There's no nothing. I just know that it, it it's – the. I guarantee you it won't go the distance. My prediction is, you know, first or second round, 
Uh, Tyson Fury's father will be shirtless somehow. That's my prediction. How about that? And then will Jake Paul get in the ring and they will duke it out? Uh, maybe, fight? maybe not that far, but it, uh, but th- because this has got this is a respectable audience here. I, I, I'm sure it's limited seating also in Saudi Arabia, right? They're not going to max this place out. I mean, probably not, but it's Saudi Arabia. I mean, it's like a selective thing. I, I, I thought like that location that usually is right. But, yeah, it is, but it it it'll hold. I don't. I, I believe that that arena will hold like twenty thousand or something crazy. Yeah, so. all those all those uh, oil kings will spend the easy hundred grand just to have a seat. You know, no problem. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, so we can try. We got a lot coming up this weekend, just in a few days now, because this drops on Wednesday, uh, episode one thirty seven. I'm gonna toss final thoughts over to you, weekend Trev. You know what? I've prepared myself today. I do have a final thought. Okay. It's pretty simple. Mm. Pay attention. Is that it? You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you've always did, you always get what you've always got. Okay. 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. Huh. I have one for you too. You ready? I didn't come prepared, but I just looked one up really quickly while you were saying that. I like So that. my final thoughts. When we are tired, we are attacked by ideas we conquered long ago. And we can travel. I'm tired right now. I'm tired. It's been a long week and two weeks plus. I am tired. And I'm being conquered by ideas that I have conquered long ago right now. But I will come back. I will be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. My voice, though it sounds sultry, and it does sound good on these headphones, it will come back to normalcy. We will be back in studio soon enough, and we will be almost ringside for Amanda Serrano and Danilo Ramos here October 27th in Orlando, Florida at the Caribe Royale, brought to you by Most Valuable Promotions as well as Box Lab Promotions as well as Celsius. And I forgot the slogan again for that. I'm not a good marketing man. Uh, but that's going to be at Caribe Royale this Friday. Check it out on DAZN.com or see it in person. Ticketmaster link is below. And that's all I got to say about that. And uh, what I will say beyond that common phrase is is that over there is weekend trap that there is b money aka the producer aka the man the myth the legend the one who toughed it out for all weighing in with travis hartman subscribers and listeners because he's not been the 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 100 because he's been a little bit under the weather but b money thank you brother god bless